Welcome back to Coffee Stories. Dave, Suyog, and Ian here talking about this month's balance profile for the last month of 2019. Ian, what's the deal with this coffee? This coffee comes to us uh, from Oaxaca in Mexico, which is a distinctly different region from uh, the more southern regions like Chiapas, uh, which are along the Guatemalan border. Uh, The coffee we had in November, MLC, is from uh, Chiapas. This is further north. It's a little bit lower elevation, but it's also further from the equator, so there are some microclimates which allow for pockets of great land to grow coffee on. We are really excited to offer this coffee this month. This is an exceptional Mexican coffee which delivers all the flavors you would expect from a balanced profile coffee. Suyog, what can you tell us about the producers and farmers at Origin? This coffee, this particular lot, comes from a group of 150 farmers of the Sierra Mixteca Cooperative, spread around five villages in Oaxaca. Uh, one of the villages is where this lot is from. Uh, the name of the village is San Pedro Yosotatu. And this lot of coffee comes from 30 farmers who are mostly women and led by uh, a woman uh, whose name is Madalena Lopez. This lot is mostly made up of tipica and bourbon varietals, which were once prized for their great quality coffee in terms of taste. But they're now a little bit difficult to grow because they're weak against pests and yield less coffee than newer, you know, more hybrid Uh, cultivated types of coffee plants. You can think of it as a comparison to uh, an heirloom tomato that you can grow in your garden, like uh, Early Girl or Best Boy. That's not super exotic and weird, but you don't see it in the supermarket either. So you don't see uh, Tipica and Bourbon as much as, as, as you used to. Ian, how did we get connected to this coffee on the sourcing side of things? This coffee comes to us via uh, the importer Red Fox Coffee Merchants. They're a smaller importer that focuses on small lots in Central and South America and really good at conveying the strong bonds they have with farmers to us uh, as their customers. Uh, While looking for Mexican coffees this year, Red Fox introduced us to some lots from the um, Santa Maria Yucahiti area. Uh, And when tasting samples from Yucahiti, we were really impressed by how bright and juicy the Mexican coffees were, which usually tend to be more earthy and base note forward. Tasting notes for this coffee are milk chocolate, peach, and floral. This coffee is very sweet and balanced, with notes of milk chocolate and earthy spices with a complex stone fruit-like acidity and a coating grippy mouthfeel. We recommend brewing this coffee with a drip machine or a Chemex brewer to bring out its more acidic side. For more information about this coffee, visit driftaway.coffee slash MYC. And be sure to check out the links in the description below for our other three coffees this month. Thank you.